Hi, my name is John McCleskey. I'm one of the senior anesthesiologists here at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. One of my areas of expertise in the OR is providing neonatal anesthesia. Today I'm going to speak to you specifically about some of the issues and problems we encounter every day in terms of taking care of our smallest patients in the operating room. In terms of the specific topics of discussion I'm going to address, I will talk about the perioperative care of the surgical neonate, some of the physiologic and pharmacologic considerations we need to discuss or uh, think about when we're taking care of the neonate in the operating room undergoing a surgical procedure. We will talk specifically about what we do in the OR in terms of detailed anesthetic management. One area of concern or controversy in the OR is intraoperative fluid management in the neonatal surgical patient. I will go into more detail how we figure out or determine what the fluid requirements are for the neonate in the operating room. Here at CHOP we were several years ago having some issues concerning the intraoperative and actually the perioperative management of the neonate coming to the OR and going back to the NICU. These areas of problems focus specifically on communication, intraoperative fluid management, and temperature maintenance. We also were having significant problems with the babies having bleeding issues in the OR. To address these problems, we created what we call here our neonatal perioperative group. This group is made up of several members of various disciplines, which include neonatology, surgery, nursing, which includes NICU and OR nursing, and respiratory therapy. The objective of the group, when we first got together, is to improve the overall care of the neonate undergoing surgery. We uh, review cases, especially of anything that's happened in the operating room where we transport a patient from the NICU to the OR or back. Uh, in terms of any issues that have come up with a neonatal surgical patient. We set uh, policies and procedures on various situations. For example, uh, performing surgical procedures in NICU. Sometimes we have patients who are so unstable, it's not in their best interest to transport them from the NICU to the operating room to perform procedure. When that occurs, we have a policy by which we can basically duplicate the surgical environment in the NICU itself will provide, bring us uh, OR nursing team down uh, from, the sub, from the fourth floor with the specific equipment that's needed to perform a surgical procedure. We'll bring an anesthetic machine and the various drugs and supplies that we need along with an anesthesia tech to help um, provide the services we need in terms of taking care of a, a neonatal surgical patient in the NICU itself. We've been very successful with that. Um, We've been able to reduce the uh, morbidities and, and actually some mortality associated with uh, neonatal surgery with development of this team.